and falling short. The polls show Prop 16 to restore affirmative action is losing traction among Californians. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. California was one of the first states to ban affirmative action in 1996. As KPIX5's Kid Doe reports, there is a push to lift that ban by passing Prop 16. With a week to go before the election, let's talk about Prop 16. A new poll out from UC Berkeley shows Prop 16 trailing by double digits, and it's got a big hill to climb. The race is heating up for Prop 16. If passed, it would reinstate affirmative action in college admissions, public employment, and government contracts. The new poll released this week by UC Berkeley's Institute of Governmental Studies shows Prop 16 no votes, leading 49% to 38%. Would you go as far to say that Prop 16 has one foot in the grave? <laughs> well, those are your words. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it that way, but its chances are not great. Mark D. Camillo is the director of polling and found voters with no party preference or other parties strongly oppose Prop 16 by 20 to 30 points. D. Camillo says these are the voters to watch. Both of those groups are not on the extremes, and how those people in the middle view things usually is a good indicator. Proposition 16 takes on discrimination. The Yes on Prop 16 campaign has launched an aggressive push, including this ad with nighttime clips of Tiki Torch carrying marchers from Charlottesville. And opposed by those who have always opposed equality. When I first saw the ad, I thought it was very, very disturbing. Rowena Ichon with the Pacific Research Institute wrote a piece titled No Truth in Advertising about the ad and says Prop 16 would hurt the Asian community. They're overrepresented in in, um, some of America's colleges. So I think what uh, uh, young, um, young Asian Americans um, will lose slots, uh, be even though they had worked hard, uh, they've got great test scores and did a lot of community activity. I think they have, would eventually lose out. You stand by the use of the Tiki Torch video. Oh, without a doubt. Absolutely. Walter Wilson with the Yes on Prop 16 campaign says these photos were taken at a no event in Pasadena the weekend of October 3rd. At their campaigns, they have Trump banners. I'm talking about those very same people, those communities who have the audacity to try to say that, that we don't deserve black people in particular who've had 400 years of, of slavery and oppression in this country. We don't deserve the opportunity to try to have a level playing field because of that. Talk to me about that. You want to have a conversation about race? Let's have a conversation about race. Let's talk about what's happening in this country to black people, and particularly in California. Kit Doe, KPIX5.